Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how you can recover data from your Western Digital external hard drive by making use of uh, recovery software which is available exclusively for your Mac OS. I found this recovery software for Western Digital external hard drive which is available at this link. So if you're looking to recover data from your Western Digital external hard drive, then you can just visit this link and hit the download now button to download this software on your Mac OS. With this software, it just took a few minutes to recover back all the data from my hard drive which was lost as well as deleted. The same software can also be used if you are looking to recover data from a formatted western digital hard drive. Anyway, I have this application installed on my system so I'll just run the software and I'll show you how you can recover data using this particular recovery software. So this is the home screen of the software when it's launched. So all you'll see on the main screen are three buttons at the bottom that is recover files, recover photos and recover volumes or drives. In order to recover data from an external hard drive, click on the third option that you see here that is recover volumes or drives. On next screen you'll find two options that is volumes recovery and formatted or reformatted recovery. So if you're looking to recover data from a formatted or reformatted Western Digital external hard drive, then you can go with the second option. Also, just recover the volumes from your external hard drive. You can go with the first option that you see here, that is volumes recovery. For this video, I'll just recover the volumes from my external hard drive. So I'll click on the first option. On next screen, the software will give you a list of all drives that are connected to your Mac OS. All you'll have to do on the screen is just select the hard drive from which you are looking to recover data and then click on the next button. The software scans the drive which was selected in the previous step and gives you a list of all volumes that were present in the disk that was selected in the previous step. On this screen you'll find all your volumes that were lost or even deleted from your hard drive. So all you'll have to do on this screen is just select the volume from which you are looking to recover data and then click on the next button that you find on the software here. And these are the two scanning methods provided by this software. I can go with standard scan which is relatively fast and will recover back all my files in no time. However, if standard scan doesn't recover my files then I can go with an advanced option that is advanced scan which will make sure that all my files are recovered back from my hard drive. For this video, I'll go with the second option that is advanced scan. Okay, so here are all the different file types which I would like to recover from the volume that was selected in the previous step. For example, if I'm just looking to recover pictures, then I can select this option which will make sure that only the pictures are recovered from my hard drive. But most of the time, we would like to recover the entire data from our hard drive. If that's the case, then you'll just have to skip this step by clicking on the skip button that you see down here. This will make sure that the entire data from the volume that was selected in the previous step will be recovered back. For this video, I'll recover the entire data from the volume that was selected. So I'll click on the skip button. And the moment I click on it, the software begins to recover back the data from the volume that was selected by me. So all I'll do now is just wait for the recovery process to complete, after which I'll be given a list of all files and folders that were found in the volume. And once the recovery process is completed, I'll be presented with all the files and folders that were recovered from the volume that was selected by me. Now since I'm looking to recover the entire data that was recovered from my hard drive, I'll have to set the entire list that was recovered from my hard drive by clicking on the root option that I see here. This in turn selects the entire list of files and folders that were recovered from my hard drive. Now the next step is to save this data. So I'll click on the save button that I see here and select a folder on my desktop. After which I'll click on save. As you can see here, the software now begins to save the recovered data to this folder. I'll wait for the saving process to complete after which I'll go back to the target folder. I'll check if the files have been saved successfully. 
Yeah, now the saving process has been completed. So I'll go to the target folder to check if the saving process was successful. So here you can see that all the recovered data has been successfully saved to this folder on my desktop. So this simple recovered data from your Western Digital External Hard Drive by making use of this recovery software that is specifically designed to recover data from a Western Digital External Hard Drive on Mac OS. So if you're looking to recover data from a Western Digital External Hard Drive, then you can just visit the link that I provided below and download this software to your Mac OS. Thanks for watching.